what we've actually realized is we've been digging our own grave by recreating the matrix. I mean, if you just look at what's going on in the U.S. with the NSA issue, it's it's basically we, we've we've recreated the matrix. All the things that we thought were conveniences are going to come back and haunt us because the digital exhaust that we leave is actually going to incriminate ourselves. And and, and that, that is pretty scary. We may come back 100 years from now and say that that era, you know, before digitalization was like the golden era of humanity where people weren't being watched, people were much more free, people actually get, got to do what they wanted to do. Um, or we may come back and say that was an era that lacked, lacked trust because there was no transparency. You couldn't trust anyone because nothing was transparent. So I, I, I don't know. I think we're going to have to wait a little bit to see what happens. Um, but, you know, I, 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 do, I do want to fight that fight um, to preserve people's privacy. I think the first battle is going to be when we eliminate currencies and cash when we go to digital currencies, if we don't fight that as a society, we will not have any liberty because we will know every transaction you make. And when we know every transaction, I can see, hey, that's interesting. You just purchased pills for high blood pressure. Ah, well, maybe there's a weakness here. Maybe I should charge you more for insurance. Or wait, maybe, uh, you know, I noticed that you purchased cigarettes and, you know, had a large steak meal. Maybe I should, you know check you in to see if you're okay from a health perspective because I want to manage your health costs. Right? We're going to lose all our liberties that we think we have uh, when this occurs. I think currency is going to be one, the first battle that we face. Right? There is a big push to eliminate um, currency and as cash, right? to move everything to digital. Um, and if I can't make a purchase in an anonymous fashion, um, it's just the same in the U.S. If I can't check out a library book without people wondering what I'm reading, right? Maybe what I'm reading can be considered as, you know, rebellious or dangerous to the state, right? And and taking that freedom away from us um, is, is very important to protect. We have to protect that. So at least in Western civilization where that there is a history of this and a history of fighting that level of oppression, I think, in, in the classical Western societies, that, that is something we have to defend or, you know, or, or why even bother to, to be in existence? 